Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 on the left hand side versus Peppermint OS 2022 edition on the right hand side here. So first of all they are both uh, running on the XFCE desktop environment on, on the front end there but Linux Mint 21 actually is running on the latest Ubuntu long-term service release on the back end so Ubuntu 22.04 and whereas Peppermint OS is running on a more stable Debian backend there, just so you know. But before I go any further, we'll take a look at the, the RAM usage on boot up. So take it with a grain of salt, but uh, Linux Mint currently running on 570 megabytes of RAM on boot up there, whereas Peppermint OS running on 635 megabytes of RAM, so almost 100 meg more. Something just to, uh, just to bear in mind. Now have a look at the start menus, similar. They're using the same repositories, the same sort of XFCE start menu. It's not very customized, either of them. I mean, of course, Peppermint OS is, has, has a nicer uh, dark mode there, but you can type in what you want and you can find it. That's the main thing that I like there. We've got the right click for the uh, the context menu on the start, uh, on, on the front page, I guess you could say. Pretty similar there. I'm enjoying the dark mode again there on Peppermint OS. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, actually, let's, let's go across to the file managers. Now, this should always be the same because it is the Thuna file manager, which is normally used for anything XFCE desktop related. And uh, we can see, oh, no, no, this this is one of the exceptions I remember now. So this actually uses the Nemo. It's really, I do enjoy Nemo the way that it's just really clean and clear and, and modernized. Oh, it's, it's got this nice little shimmy effect too. Translucent effect, technically, the name would be. Very beautiful dark mode, easy on the eyes. Nice icon color sets to uh, match the theme of Peppermint OS, uh, which is black or dark gray and red. So that's good to see. And we've got this more of a stock standard light mode for, for Linux Mint 21, although it is using the, the Linux Mint icon sets to keep in line with all of the Linux Mint flavors there. But hey, you can drag and drop with either of these. You can right click, you can go to a terminal and, and away you go. But I am enjoying, it's just really easy on the eyes, that one Peppermint OS. Okay, so let's see, uh, what have we got next up? We'll take a look at the back end, see what's going on there. So this is where it's a little bit different. So Linux Mint is running on a later and greater kernel, the 5.15 kernel, whereas Peppermint OS is running on the 5.10 kernel, which can be expected uh, considering it's running on the older, albeit more stable Debian uh, back end there. And let's have a look at the software managers. Let's just see if they both have them. A lot of Linux distros don't really. Ugh, yuck. So, Linux Mint has the nice software manager, it's graphical interface, categorization of apps, editor picks, a banner up the top. Simple, but useful, a rating system. Uh, Peppermint OS seems to just have the GDB package installer and the Synaptic package manager, and that's why I said yuck. Let's just see if it's got anything else, other variants or versions, go to systems. Uh, let's see, no. Maybe there's a add remove. Add application finder. No. Nope. Yeah, it's not great. Synaptic package manager was used years ago as the default standard for, say, Ubuntu in the in the noughties, for instance. It's usable. It's functional. It's just not. I'm not even sure it's got a rating system there. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can search for what you want, but it's, it's just not visual. It's just not designed for ease of use, in my opinion. Well. Most would say you just want something graphical and easy to use like that. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, you can't get everything in every distro. Uh, don't hold me to that. I do have some favorites. But um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. And I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.